fear can't kill you. But you know, they say heart disease is the number one killer in men and women ages 23 to uh, 55. You are also exceptionally more likely to have a heart attack on your birthday than any other day of the year. Makes sense. The more you know. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Play the Hits. This is Resident Evil, and uh, we just survived an encounter with a giant snake. And uh, Nick, if I remember right, we got to do some zombie burning before we get too far astray here. Uh, woo, we should really burn those things before we sign off on an episode. Yeah, but we were already going long last time, so let's go take care of that now. Yeah, as long as you remember. As long as we remember. So I really appreciate that I can hear the uh, music in this game as opposed to when we have to do something God over Discord. Yes, that is nice. All right, so I've got to take the long way around here. What's the issue with the store? It's broken because I was stupid and went through it too many times. Well, kick it. Yeah, right. Break it some more. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Was... Okay, that's obviously not going to happen, Nicholas. There's no no. What is with this fucking house? The last thing I remember is there was a door that swung open in the hallway, and I guess his B was a shamble out. Yeah. I remember because that was the most. Uh, okay, now we do have a scary... new fucking. You bitch. All now, right. do you have to burn him? Not if I can take his head off. Now oh, I've I thought that counted him. as a headshot. Now I've got to burn him. Oh, nope, he's back. Okay. Come on, we're going to take his head. We're taking your head. Fucking explode! God damn it. Mm, boy, that aiming... <clears throat> there's there's no aiming i mean it's not you you can't influence the headshot in any way it's just got to be locked. oh really i i thought um you could like vaguely point in the direction but no i i think if you're close enough that you can aim up and shoot them in the head it slightly increases your chance but i've never verified that so it's like picking a lottery uh number for the uh billion dollar jackpot right now it's just all luck yeah pretty well Let's <clears throat> refill our canteen. I think this should be it, actually, for the fuel in this room. Yep, not a single drop of kerosene left. All right. How do those zombies burn if blood comes out of them? It's like burning wet leaves, right? Yeah, with kerosene. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. You can burn anything with enough kerosene. Yeah, I was going to say, you pour enough kerosene on anything it'll burn why we're not torching this whole mansion right now i don't know <clears throat> touche nicholas tosh well he was waiting right in that blind spot that sucked is there another one that i don't know about no i don't think so hmm. I think we're seems okay. like scary manners is the theme for tonight yeah yeah with the account of uh luciador oh wait no i'm sorry that's, that was that's what it is now now, let's see here. Gotta reorient myself. This is the main hall, isn't it? It is. I like that I'm vaguely starting to memorize the layout of the house by watching you play through it. Yeah, you know, that's the way this game works. Did I just hear dogs? Are there dogs out here now? Are I heard a bug. Yeah, okay. Just a bug. That works. Alrighty. Back in saddle again here. Oh, so we gotta bring the four mask to the... Okay. Yeah, but like I said, first I'm gonna burn that Scarlet because... Or hopefully he's not a Scarlet yet. I'm gonna take him out so that we don't have to deal with him um, later. Because this, this is one part of the mansion that we actually will be coming back to a couple times. Oh, shit! Oh, well, that's not gonna go over well. Not for him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my. Well, he's with zombie Jesus now. Wow, I guess <clears throat> that was, um... Saved hmm. ourselves a canteen. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, that was way less time than I would have guessed for the, um... Uh, Crimson to kick in. Spoopy. Yep. Well, whatever. 
Let's see. Here's that door that I broke. So now we're doubling this... back yet again for the masks. Ah, oh, so none of this was necessary. Okay. Not a damn thing. Well, can you go back to that door now? Nope. Not until Wesker not... fixes it. Why not just put her hat in the door jam? Or I don't know, so leave that... the fucking door open. <laughs> There's that too. Okay, so let's see. We're not going to use the shotgun for this fight. We will use the nade launcher. We'll just take the masks here. What, another boss fight? Oh, yeah. Already? Yep. We already fought a giant snake. Yeah, that sounds right. Snake! <clears throat> God, I really wish I could use that door. Oh, well, it's like what? an extra one Two minutes up and around we go. Yeah, Actually, no, it is very inconvenient now that I think on it. It's not the Ooh. worst, but so uh, what are you watching these days? Uh, like porn wise, adventure wise, what? you got to specify uh, here. Whatever you want to throw it into the public <laughs> sphere, apparently. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I went there. There doesn't seem to be anything useful here. Thank you, Jill. Um, what am I watching? I just finished Jack Reacher. I think I already told you about that. Yeah, which yeah. Was well, I already asked what you're reading last episode, so I figured you're still on the same book. Yeah, yeah. So I just finished that. Um, oh, I'm watching... Uh, well, I have watched the first two episodes of the uh, new series of Doctor Who. I'm really enjoying that. Um, huh. Jodie Whittaker, she's, she's doing a fantastic job. I mean, my, my favorite, I think, for a while is still going to be Peter Capaldi. Um, but, you know, she's, she's doing a very good job, especially given, like, how much flack she's getting for having a vagina. Well, you know, when a character has traditionally been male for the last 40 years? Yeah, nerds don't like them some change. Oh boy. What do you think will come out of there? A statue with a hole where the eyes should be. Boink. You know, as huh. much blood as that thing is losing, how does it really stand a chance against me? Yeah, I'd just kind of wait this out. Yeah, right. I feel like we're, we're going to be fine here if we just play the old waiting game. I mean, like we got the, enough rations. The boss fight in Metal Gear Solid 3 with the end, you know? Just let it happen. This, a, this problem will take care of itself. Yeah, I feel like it is necessary to use now. <clears throat> there we go. And here we go. Boss number two. The Crimson... No, it's that uh, the crimson weird douche summon. Bag. The weird summon thing from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, right? <laughs> what a jackass. That was, uh... He's not done yet. <laughs> huh. uh... No Barry here to help. How, how much do you think he's got left in him? About another two grenades. There he goes. Wow, he actually used five of them. Are you not sure bad. he's down? Oh, okay. he's, he's down. The dramatic music has stopped. He's not feeling so great right now. But hey, he left me some shotgun shells. To replace the ones you didn't use. Right. There's something here. Yeah, somehow I feel like they wanted to use the shotgun, but I have a grenade launcher, damn it. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, it wasn't the most intense boss fight in the world, but... Well, you know, it can be a little bit more difficult, I assume, if you weren't using the win game item. Yeah, right. If I had just gone down there with my handgun, we probably would have yeah. sunk down putting, a few of those red herbs. Put, putting down a, uh, putting the fight into auto win there, so. Yeah, so let's see here. What's going to be the best way to proceed? First, we've got to go back to the item box and put the grenade launcher away for a little bit, having served its purpose well. We're going into uh, probably my favorite area of the game, which is kind of like the 
backyard like watershed place. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, it gets, I like those kinds of areas. It gets pretty creepy. It's cool. Slash the guest house. So, um, as long as we're talking about um, media forms of entertainment, I recently just realized, uh, I remember back a long time ago in the Star Tropics 2 episode, we were talking about the Black Cauldron? Yeah. Do you know that's based on a series of novels about Welsh mythology? No, I didn't. So somewhat similar to The Witcher, vaguely similar, but... Um, yeah, and apparently that movie came really close to bankrupting uh, Disney's development studio for uh, animated films. Ouch. Yeah, it apparently it was a disaster from the onset, but it was the movie that apparently Don Bluth made his uh, animation career on. No kidding. Yeah, it got kicked from like editor to editor to editor five different times, and then someone said, no, 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 what we need to do is we need to put more time and money into it, and we need <laughs> some sort of projection system to make it seem like the monsters are coming out of the screen into the movie theater. And uh, so, yeah, eventually, so a little they, too ambitious for its own good, huh? Yeah, and it was also um, exceedingly dark for a Disney film, so it didn't kind of fit in with the other uh, Disney films. Yeah, I was going to say that's kind of what I enjoyed about it, though. I thought, I, I mean, it was hardly my favorite Disney movie, but at the same time, I mean, it still <clears throat> creeped me out. And uh, Th that movie was meant to be like a reaction to like the super kid-friendly movies that they'd been releasing beforehand, you right, know? Because even right. Disney was starting to get embarrassed by you know its. Uh, the seven animals ten. and yeah, all that good stuff. Right, right. But um, no, John, but John Hurt was brilliant as uh, the Dark Lord. Horned or King? His name is. Yeah, Horned King, thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, I ended up reading about quite a bit of that, uh, <clears throat> quite a bit of the series. I'm actually trying to grab one of the books on the free library exchange, so that'll be fun. Ah. So, but yeah, it's, it's actually from a series called The Chronicles of Pydron. Oh, okay. So the Chronicles of Riddick? What? <laughs> no, no, you're thinking of Dune. We're we're, or... we're looking for a uh, full live remake starring Vin Diesel. <laughs> Didn't Vin Diesel a couple of years ago remake his first Vin Diesel credit? Uh, he remade his first Chronicles of Riddick movie, but I think they were both in universe, so it's not a remake. It's technically he just did the same thing twice. <laughs> I know they. It's remade... a confusing series. I know they remade the Chronicles of Riddick video game. Did they? Yeah, but mm. it it wasn't as big of a leap as you're thinking. It was just from Xbox to Xbox 360. Oh, so one of those backwards compatibility compatibility things. I, I I do think they did give it a full graphical overhaul, though. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a bad looking game to begin with, but I remember it being okay. But you know, much like the movie, no new ground was being broken here. Yeah. But no, it was it was a good FPS and like a really interesting like you know kind of escape from prison sort of dynamic. To he's it. always escaping from prison. Hey, it's Vin Diesel, man. He's he's got a very this limited range as far as acting goes. <laughs> the guy's actually great. If you've ever like seen interviews with him, like he's just this huge nerd and he's hilarious. Oh yeah, he's he's a he's a delightful gentleman. I, I'm not a huge fan of his the Fast and Furious movies, but. Uh... But hey, they cash. They they pay the bills. They pay the bills. Yeah, and it was never quite a car wank fan, but he he's a delightful individual. I try to watch his movies when he's got a deep one out. Yeah, yeah, no, he's he's enjoyable. I like him. <clears throat> Vin Diesel, and, if you um, would like to uh, partner up and uh, come host play the hits with us, we yeah, would be glad he to won't. Have you. But if he <laughs> would did, would it be great if one of our ten <laughs> ten watchers is is Vin was fucking Vin Diesel? Diesel? <laughs> hey, you guys are all right. I, I don't know what you sound like, Vin Diesel, but... He sounds tougher than that, I'm sorry. Well, he's kind of got this, like, man-child quality to his voice that's always really great. Now, wait, where did I just... What was in oh, that we're other... in the garden. We are. But I want to check that other door first, because I forget which one is which. There may be an item box relatively close by, which would be very nice. If this is what I think it is.
So are you watching, playing, reading anything else interesting? God damn it, now I'm not sure which way to go. <clears throat> uh, I'm apparently like two days away from being on the uh, the next person on the waiting list for the fourth book in the Dune series, which I'm really excitedly waiting for. They kind of break the series up into two trilogies, and I finished the first one, so I'm waiting to start the second one anxiously. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, aside from book-wise, still reading Carl Sagan's Demon Haunted World... I've really tried to get into the new Mayans series that's on TV right now because I so thoroughly enjoyed Sons of Anarchy, which is weird for me. Yeah. I, I remember I mean, you I was saying a... that you enjoyed that, and it didn't seem like your cup of tea, but... It was essentially Macbeth on motorcycles, and that's why I enjoyed it. Nice. Um, Mayans, I can just... I'm like three episodes in. I can't figure out who the hell anybody is going on. Sons of Anarchy, I got it right away. We run drugs and we run from the cops. Every now and then, we shoot a cop. <laughs> right. I mean, that was, that was pretty straightforward, moment, but... Yeah. yeah, I guess it's a little too West Coast for my taste. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm taking a wild guess right now. Spin the rooster, win a prize. Spin the rooster. <laughs> Spin to win. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm also kind of shambling my way through what's left of The Walking Dead, but, you know. Okay, the gate will open and the God do guard dog's desires are fulfilled. Well, let's find out what their we desires are. We need to find are. a female dog. Red then. Eye, the war cry of revenge. Okay. Inscription reads, the last gasp of destruction. That's so, so it, revenge and destruction. Is there a journal entry here that I missed? I guess you get revenge for destruction. <clears throat> Botany yeah, let's check book, the stars manual keeper's diary crumpled memo kenneth's film no nope. oh it's just his trip to hawaii oh yeah need to find a recorder to play it okay whatever ah right. they had that mechanic in seven didn't they so let's double back here then and look for a document that's going to tell us what those words mean revenge and desire unless there's something i missed that's the way to several destinations. Okay, are any of them revenge and desire? No, just Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Oh, boy. Wait, here we go. Okay. Revenge and destruction, right? Yes, yeah, so there's the Valley of Destruction, Hatred, Madness, okay. and Revenge. North is destruction. West is revenge. So I think I actually got this one right. Mm -hmm. So I want to put. You just gotta one spin north. the other dog. Yeah. You got a one in three chance of getting it right. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Poorly rendered dog statue. No. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> arf arf. Oh my God, Chris, stop. Oh, okay, wait, I see what you're doing. There we go. Fucking A. So I'm not so sure if they're... I should go back to those double doors, though. So fulfilling their desire may... means make them look in different directions. Yeah, right. I don't want to I talk mean, I guess... to him. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> Fuck these crows. I'm assuming these crows eating the dead bodies of the mutated zombies is good for the environment. No, it's probably not good for anything. It's like a while back when they were going to release all these genetically modified mosquitoes into the air that had been genetically modified to be sterile. Oh, really? What could go wrong? Right. What could possibly go wrong? Ebola? Oh. Sterile frogs that eat the mosquitoes. Oh, dear. What could that That don't be? sound good. No. This was actually one of the additions for the remake, which is really cool, is this this really creepy enemy we're about to meet for the first time. And the last? Nope. She'll stalk hmm. us around for a good while. Not killable, I assume. No, not by traditional means. Oh, enchanted. Must be a noon wraith. You called it. Perhaps a chort? Chortle. Let's see here. 
there are definitely herbs right here. How's my inventory? Shitty. I think there's an item box in here, though. <coughs> I will take the green herb. Take the other green herb, too. All right. The herbs are always greener on the other side of the garden. Let's smoke some weed and forget about this whole horrible event. Let's see here. Oh, good. Those were the only items out here. That makes me nice. feel a little bit better about my horrible inventory management. <clears throat> now, if there's not a box in here, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, let's see here. I don't think there's a box in here, Nick. Huh. God damn it. What could these brown stains be? They could be a lot poop. of things. Is it poop? Map of the courtyard. Yoink. Oh, no, there's not a box in here. Tight. You got map of the courtyard. Za, 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 zing. Da, 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 da. Is there someone on that bed? No, it's just their clothes. A crude bed. It's like no one's using it in a long time. This bed is not well fucked upon at all. Is there ink ribbons here? A family picature. Oh yeah, I can totally see what's going on here. Okay, so here's the girl, and this is yeah, she slowly becomes this like crazy monster that we're about to we're about to meet. Let's see any other ink ribbons. An old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Where the hell's my item box? Right. Okay, there's still more in here for us. <clears throat> hey, there's my item oh, box. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's put this away. And you know what? I'm I'm just feeling confident with my health right now, so we'll take the ink ribbons and do a quick save. can save your progress use the ink ribbon why sure so um tell me when do you pick up red dead redemption 2 um probably about the time i finish dragon quest so it'll be a little while yet ah so you're gonna wait okay i gotcha yeah i mean don't get me wrong i'm really looking forward to it but at the same time if i pick up another project i'll probably you put those two together and i mean they're competing for only so much time that's exactly right When does uh, Red Dead Redeemed Redemption? It may come out like next week. Hmm. Okay. Hey, we got the crank. I love crank. Let me see here. Okay, cool. We've got everything in this area. Wait, is this a door? Looks like there was an it arrow pointing. Certainly it looks like one, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It looks like a trap exit. But whatever. Uh oh. What could that be? Doink. <laughs> Game over. Let's see here. I may be able to get around her, or I may just spend a shotgun shell. I forget. We'll see how this goes. Like I said, I used to be pretty good at, like, um, maneuvering around enemies in this game. But, you know, it has been a good while. How many faces do you see on this chick? Four. Oh my. Well, whatevs. We're fine. Oh, it's the um it's the spotted white from Witcher 3. <laughs> right. We just need to have dinner with her, and then she'll go back to being our house cook. That was one of my favorite quests <clears throat> in that whole game. Was just it's like whining and dining that horribly deformed creature and making her feel wanted <laughs> you know usually it's weird you know a, a game tends to have thrown all of its good ideas out by you know by the second dlc get... yeah and no it's it's like they save some of their best ideas for uh blood and wine you know that the witcher 3 and its dlc had like simultaneously some of the most like depressing and exciting and scary and just straight up sweet stories out of any game ever and well, it, ran, it ran the whole gambit it wasn't it afraid to step on your feelings 
It did. I, I mean, like, for every time it pulled, like, a rock star um, and had, like, an utterly depressing and, like, melodramatic quest, it would also have one that's just, like, Geralt, you know, sitting at a table with this poor creature and, or, or, you know, talking his way out of three monsters who are plotting revenge against him, you know? It's just... <laughs> and, and, and that's oh, the beauty yes. of that game, is that the... They, they varied the quest structure so much that it never became tired or predictable. Like, I, yes. I had as much Very fun... Very little fetching going on. Yeah. I had as much fun doing the, the last side quest in that game as I did the very first. You know, it was, it was every I, I, Yeah, I mean, um, goodness, you, you did everything from having a dinner with Spotted White to trying to find the broken phallus of a uh, libido oh, yeah. statue. <laughs> Man, what were some other really good? The, the, okay, Here, here's here's a good one for you. What is your favorite Witcher Three side quest? Well, if we're knocking down the spotted white, because that one's just the easy answer. Hmm. I'll tell you mine while you're thinking about it. It was in uh, Novigrad, um, and it was the part where you're basically tailing a vampire all throughout the city, and then it concludes with a <laughs> dramatic... Shepard. Ha Shepherd. It concludes Geralt with... has to get drunk because it only bites inebriated people. Oh, no, no. That that was the one in um, uh, Oxenfort. No Oxenfort, no. yep, yeah. yep, yep. Um, the Novigrad one concludes with a dramatic encounter in an abandoned warehouse. God damn it. Oh, but that one's totally optional. If you're like me, you accidentally yeah, took that's... out the Eternal Fire Priest. Oh, really? Oh, god damn it! Well, because you don't know it's a vampire until, like, if you do some very specific things. Did I just knife that dog? I knifed that dog. I wasted a knife on that goddamn dog. Oh, it's dead. That's what's important. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a bit of a tricky quest because you had to ignore your first instinct to kill that priest. Right. Okay, so let's see here. You may be wondering why the hell I'm not using the herbs. The answer is we're just fine. You don't look fine. She's fine. You look like you're about to go into shock. She's fine. Okay, so the elevator will need to access that later. Which is why I bothered to kill the dogs, because we'll be coming back this way a few times. And at this point, we've got enough ammo saved up that I can kill a few start enemies to be more to. Liberal with it. Yep. yeah a little bit I, I mean the corridors get a little tighter in the smaller guest house so a ah, pool that's kind of feels out of place hey zombies need to have fun too really yeah getting a maniac mansion vibe here <laughs> this is where they keep the nuclear reactor and the fuel rods right you called it dude you know we should play sometime like, while we're in the same room together. Uh, zombies ate my neighbors. You know, I've never played that. I've heard good things. Oh, we're not going to get past, like, level four, but it sure is fun. Interesting. I'll it, have to look it, that it's, up. it's as fun as it is maddening. But let's see. Yeah. And here come so. the snakes. Wait, where are the snakes? Nope. That explains the poison. They should uh, start dropping the, the, some snakes on me. <clears throat> when are they going to drop the snakes? Huh. Maybe it's not until I come back. Quit asking for the snakes. I mean, I'm just saying I know they're coming. It's just a... Quit I love begging this for it. Doink. <clears throat> My legs. Where are they? Yeah, there's another blue herb. Or is this... Uh, there are blue herbs growing here. Okay, yeah. So those are just uh, freebies. I would assume this is where they introduce the snakes. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Just pull out your pistol. We're not doing this today, birds. Fall back! Fall back! Caw! Kill her! Caw! Oh god, she's got a gun! The fact that they can take more than one is disconcerting. I guess that's all eating that zombie flesh and whatnot. Okay. Makes them strong like bull. 
strong like bullshit. <laughs> He's not getting away. Okay. <laughs> we still have 100 bullets. We're okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Damn, I wish I could combine that with my other green herb there. That would be nice. Okay, there's where I need to put the battery to activate that other elevator. So, anywho, um, yeah, there are a lot of great Witcher quests. Um, oh, yeah, like I, I was your kind of alluding to. There's that absolutely delightful one in Oxenfurt where you got to lure the vampire out who only who only bites people who are completely soused with a ridiculous blood alcohol level. Oh, that's right. And, and Geralt's just wandering through the streets singing random sailor songs. I know that that is hilarious. I There's love how Geralt's just like the most belligerent drunk. He's not a happy drunk. Yeah, but he's not a sad one either. He just gets, like, real goofy. Introspective sometimes a bit much. There was also the quest where you, um... Where you had to go to that mage's house that had been foreclosed on, and you find out his secret was just this vault full of hundreds of years' worth of cheese he'd been collecting. Oh, yeah, that was great. Now, this certainly isn't a side quest, but I love when um, Geralt and all of his friends got trashed at um, Kaer Morin. I was just thinking about that the other night. Yes, that was another gold hey, moment. It's oh. me, Vesemir. <laughs> 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 Quick, we gotta use Yennefer's portal and summon some bitches. <laughs> shh, 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 we were never here. Oh, that was oh, so God. great. Everything about that quest was amazing. Uh, yeah, that that was probably some of the best writing in a game that is chock full of really excellent writing. Hey, cool, some blue herbs. It's a lot of blue herbs. And they must expect you to get really poisoned. Yep. Okay, so if I remember right, this hallway fucks with you a little bit up here. There's like a tentacle of a giant plant that comes through and strangles you. Okay. So we want to avoid that happening. Mm, definitely. Seems, seems like something you don't want to have. Okay. Nah, so I don't want to see room. tentacles get anywhere near my protagonist. <laughs> I've seen enough Japanese anime to know where this goes. Okay. Hey, kerosene. We got some fresh kerosene. Let's consolidate some items here. Oh, well, now you two are getting along because you're asleep, laying on each other. You're adorable. That's right, Nick. I can't wait till uh, Duncan is as big as Rex, who I swear is 80 pounds now. Holy shit, that's a big old boxer. Yeah, he's, he's packing on the weight. He, uh... He looks a lot like Thor these days, I'll put it that way. God, that's like me after college. Just who gives a fuck? I'm not trying to impress anybody. Uh, I've already been neutered. I ain't gonna meet any ladies at my age. <laughs> uh, poor Just gonna pop open a can of dog food, sit on the couch, watch, watch Gangland, and watch the humans play Witcher. And stop giving a shit. Stop. Stop caring so much about the little things, you know? I'm just going to be I've, me. I've never really seen a dog try to keep in shape. I mean, you keep filling up the food bowl, they're going to keep eating it. <laughs> I guess I could put them on the treadmill. That would be hilarious. You should take video of it if you do. Oh, Duncan's trying to do it. He just can't keep up with it. Okay, By the way, like no one is paying prank, attention, yeah. but... Uh, I'm currently down to 13.12 on my miles. Nice. Making some Baby progress. steps, admittedly. My my 13-year-old sister who goes and works out at the gym has been ridiculing me about how horrible I am, but, you know, journey of a thousand miles I was going to say, hey, you fucking pick up running at age 32. I mean, what do you fucking <laughs> expect? By the way, your birthday's coming up, isn't it? My birthday's already passed. So wait, you are 32? I am 32 now, yep. I got the most delightful little Shit. card from my uh, brother Dre. It was adorable. He drew happy, all of our dogs. Happy fucking belated birthday. And, uh, yeah, there ain't I'll, nothing uh, happy I'll, I'll give you your present when you come. 
There ain't nothing happy about a birthday past the age of 27. Yeah, there really isn't. Just a reminder of your mediocrity and lack of achievement. Yep, life has started taking things away, Nick. <clears throat> anyway. No, actually, I'm, like, doing really well. This year is a really good year. Last year sucked, but this one's good. Okay, so let me see if I remember how to do this here. And not get strangled. My uh, brother gave me a $100 bill and essentially told me to just use it until um, you can't buy any more sushi. Here, Nick, go make yourself look pretty. I got five rolls from the United <laughs> States. Oh my god! What is that? It's exactly what you think it is. I'm sure it'll leave you alone. Ah, oh, One part of this game I can't fucking deal with. I think we have to go in there. God damn it. Fuck me. On a related note, I hear they're remaking the movie Ar Arachnid, really? Arachnophobia. Oh, Arachnophobia. Fuck you! Well, that's a poison if I've ever seen one. You can die! Hey, possible nudity. Yep, we're poisoned. We're, we're, we're poisoned. But hey, we got that sweet green herb. Smoking that herb. Yeah, better use that before um, we lose too much health there from the poison. Yeah, I've got to go back and get a blue herb, though. I like how the music even just becomes worse. You are. Have you ever noticed how in Super Mario World the music is different depending on whether you're pushy or not? That's true. Dude, Super Mario World has some of my favorite video game music, period. Uh, would you say that's... Which is better, 3 or Super Mario World? Oh, man, they're both good, but... Um... I, I, I know it's... I, I guess it's time for a quick Mario 3 rant. I'm just surprised how much they crammed into that cartridge. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was amazing what they were able to pull off with um, the technology they had. Um, let me think. I, I think overall world. I'm just more nostalgic for world, but I, I fully recognize that 3 was one of the greatest masterpieces of its generation. Yeah, that was definitely, I think, one of the most slick games they ever put out in that series. Yeah. It was, it was well done from top to bottom. Though I am going to say, I am one of those weird people who, um, yes, Mario 3 was the better game, but my favorite in the series still to this day is Yoshi's Island. Oh, really? I, I just loved the collectibles and whatnot. Very cool. Hey, look, there's a giant spider there. Fuck you! I think you got him. He's not feeling good, but he may also just be mad now. Okay, he sees me. Nope, he's still alive. Yeah, he's, he's very alive. What is this area? Uh, fucking spider house? Like a diner or something? Is he still fucking alive? He's no, still I think, fucking alive! Yeah, he's alive. Look at this asshole. Oh my god. There we go. Ah. What a douche. Well, get some of those shotgun shells back. Damn. Making good use of them here. <coughs> Guess this is a bar of some sort? Sure. Doom, 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 Bandage with blood. You know, when I first picked that up, I thought it, uh, I only glanced at it, and bondage I thought Bondage with blood. I thought it was only, I thought it was The Bondage of the Will by Martin Luther. <laughs> Like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't get too excited, right? Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Oh, well, must serve some other purpose. Didn't Martin Luther do a translation of the Quran? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Maybe. No, I don't, th I don't think so. Hey, we got some herb... Uh, I th that would no, be good wait, to have I, for the spiders, actually. I think he did a, a preface to one of the Quran translations of his time. God damn, I think that's what blighted. it was. Oh, okay. I, I, I can tell you he wasn't fond of uh, 
the Turk. Or the Jews. Yeah, that, that kind of came later, though, after a couple of other things went down, but we won't get too much into history right now. Let's see here. I was saying I, um, I'm um, i working on reading my out. way through the uh, Quran currently, and I woke up because the chuckleheads woke me up at 3 in the morning, and I couldn't back, get back to sleep, so I thought, well, we'll just read the Quran until I fall asleep. Nice. I did not. Okay, so this is like one of the most nebulous puzzles in the game. Um, mm -hmm. You've got to detach the G string from the ass here with your teeth, and then uh, no, wait, never mind. Uh, so the colors of the billiards and the numbers on them are significant because you will see on these candles, which mm -hmm. I can light with my lighter, they have corresponding colors. So I need to get the numbers from the pool billiards the colors from the candles and then they will also have imprints of like a specific shape of eye which i then need to press into a door to unlock it so yeah real real mm. nice and nebulous how many candles are there <coughs> uh i see two two i think there's another in another room possibly another three. Okay, so there's this one, there's the one at the bar, and then there's the one upstairs. So I think three okay. total. But yeah, we'll need to come back here with a lighter and take note of that. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> you have a, you don't have to have a pen and paper on you, do you? We can do this old school style for the next episode. <coughs> I got a phone that can take notes. That works. Technology. We live in the fucking future, Chris Beck. Okay. okay. So let's go back here and solve this shit. Got ourselves a lighter. So I'm going to need you to do some drawing for me. Okay, let's put the phone down and pull out my sketchbook. Or, or I guess I was going to say you could also just say, like, eye with eyelash or no retina or something like that. But let's see here. Okay. Okay, so red uh -huh. has the eye with two eyelashes and a pupil, as you can see there. Okay. Let me know when you've got it sketched. Written it down. Okay. Did you sketch it? Yep. Okay. Actually, it looks more like a Dragon Quest slime, but... Yeah, right. Okay, so that was red. There's the green. Okay, so green has the snake eye. Alrighty. <coughs> and... What is this, orange? Yeah, more orange. Has the one with no pupil. Um, and it looks very Egyptian. It's got three upper lashes and one lower lash. There we be. <clears throat> okay. So now we get the numbers, which will also correspond to the colors you just wrote down. So let's see here. Orange, five. Green, six. Red, three. This is a pain in the bum. Yep. Did you get those? Yep. Cool. All right. The payoff for that won't come until next time on Play the Hits, but uh, we've got it, so. Oh, okay. Well, for now, mm. I think we're in good shape, though. We've we've made some decent progress. We uh, killed, killed a boss the second, in the house? Yeah, we killed the second boss, wasted a whole bunch of ammo out in the <coughs> fucking courtyard. Um, now we're in the guest house, which is a really cool part of the game. You're going to like some of the crazy shit that happens in here Ooh, delightful just like in until dawn I'll, I'll give you a hint and it goes a little something like this do 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 there's a shark do, oh yeah we got sharks what? we got what? Fucking sharks. don't ask how don't ask how just believe huh. next time on play the hits uh we go out yeah. shark hunting baby we'll look forward to that <laughs> I'm sure you will. 
Well, Nick, I, I hope this is continually as enjoyable for you as it is for me, the old trip down memory lane here. Memory? I've never seen the HD remake, so this is all new to me, and yeah, I'm in. I'm glad, man. All right. Well then, we will see you next time.